Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to see how do you install free B BBX and the version what we are installing today is elastic version of free BBX. So in order to know like uh, what version did I download, uh, I'll just take you through. I'll just go to Google and enter 2.5 download and if you click on 2.5 stable uh, so you can click on the first link or the second link and download the file from here so let me show you this so uh, let's go here and what you can do is you can click on the iso image over here and once you click on the iso ISO image it'll start downloading the file over here and this table file is 2.5.0 this is pretty much older file so in today's video we are going to uh, demonstrate uh, the installation using the older file but uh, feel free to choose the latest and the greatest version of the you know PBX system so uh, at this moment if you know right there are many other flavors like Elastix uh, free PBX and then uh, you have something called uh, uh, asterisk now etc right you can choose any of the flavor or you can choose the uh, vanilla flavor itself and then you can install the asterisk right so we'll use uh, elastic to 2.5.0 in order to integrate uh, or install with the call uh, in install in the R system and then later on we can integrate with our call manager right so what I'll do is I'll quickly open up my virtual machine because the file is already downloaded in my system and then I'll open my virtual machine and show you how to use install the uh, application on your virtual machine. Okay, I'll quickly go here and then I'll come new virtual machine. And then here, what you can do is you can click on custom advanced, click on next, click on uh, in the hardware compatibility, it doesn't matter, choose the latest one next and here you select the i'll install the operating system leader click on next here you have to choose linux uh, as a guest operating system and the version should be uh, guest os version 5 and earlier 64 bit so once you choose that click on next give a name of the virtual machine uh, i'll make it as elastics pbx and then i'll also name the version 2.5.0 and then click on next and here it is asking for the core processor and number of cores so we should uh, i mean uh, i'll make it as one because it is our lab but it depends on your business requirement if you want to make it uh, anything else so i'll choose the memory as 1024 as i said like this is a lab if in case if you want to increase it feel free to increase and uh, in the network connection i'll choose it as bridge connection click on next 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 and here it is asking you for the disk space so i think 20 gb should be sufficient for uh, elastix 2.5.0 uh, so i'll not increase the disk if you want to increase you can increase it click on next next and finally um, before finishing you just click on the customize hardware and here what you do is you choose the ISO file here and I'm going to choose as Elastix 2.5.0 click on close and finally click on finish and then your virtual machine should be list shown up here click on power on the virtual machine and the first and the foremost is you'll get this uh, interface here so i'll hit enter so <clears throat> uh, while the installation is running it will take some time and uh, there are some, um, you know, um, some um, uh, installation that you need to follow, like uh, creating the partition, creating um, the uh, assigning the IP address and hostname, etc. Something you have to choose. So, for example, you got an option here is 
uh, what's the language you want to choose uh, in our case we are going to choose as English we'll hit enter and then what is the keyboard type uh, my keyboard type is US I'll choose enter then it is asking you uh, the partition table on this device uh, uh, was unreadable to create a new partition it must be initialized causing the loss of all data on this device we'll say yes to this and then it is asking us to use uh, any of the following options so we'll use use free space on selected drives and create default layout and then click on ok it is asking us to review and modify the partition layout. No, we don't want to. Let's click on no. Enter. It is asking, would you like to configure the Ethernet Zero network interface in your system? So yes, we'll say. And then it is asking you to, uh, you know, do some configuration for your network card. I'll activate it on boot. I'll disable the IPv6 here, and letting the IPv4 enabled. Click on OK. And here it is asking you would like to uh, use a DHCP or a manual IP address. I'll go and select the manual IP address. So come down and space hit bar and your manual IP address will be selected. And then define an IP address on your network. I'll give it as 156 maybe. And the prefix would be uh, 24. Sorry, I should be 156. Okay, prefix one prefix should be 24 click on next and it is asking you for the gateway address I'll put in the gateway and DNS okay I'll hit enter it is asking you do you want to configure the host name manually or automatically via the DSP will assign it manually and make it as uh, elastics or maybe elastics PBX click on OK and then it is asking you to select a data time zone in our case so we will use as India Kolkata let's see it should be on the top Asia Kolkata on OK and then it is asking you for uh, to configure a root password so we are going to configure the root password for us so that we can log into the CLI using the root account right I entered the password here so now it is doing some of some part of your basic installation so it uh, will proceed uh, it, it may take some time and after it is done with the initial installation then it is going to ask you to you know uh, configure a database password as well so i'll what i'll do is i'll pause the installation here because i don't want to continue with the video here i'll let the installation continue and i'll pause the video so once the installation is uh, uh, making a progress and where we are asking to put input something i'll resume the video over there all right okay so the system rebooted automatically and it is coming up with this particular prompt where i need to key in the sql root password so let's key in the sql root password here okay i keyed, keyed in the sql root password so it is now asking for the free pvx admin password so where you will log in uh, to the admin uh, or the pbx using the web interface so i'll key in that as well so now the installation is completed so it took almost around uh, 12 to 15 minutes to for the installation to complete and now we can log into this uh, uh, Elastic uh, on the you know CLI version by using the root. So if you see, so we are able to log into the root, uh, and now it is saying like 
if you want to uh, open uh, up the uh, elastics on on other uh, asterisk on the uh, browser you have to enter http colon 172.160.156 let's do that okay so it is giving me some certificate error i'll click on accept risk and continue so now if i enter the admin as username as admin and the password that we have keyed in so our free pbx should load up all right so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to configure an extension in elastix and then we'll try to register a soft phone and see how does it register all right i hope you like this video thank you for watching